Chiefs at Patriots. Open that Patriots minus three and a half. It has stayed there. The total keeps climbing, Donnie. We got 60s. 60s on the board. Mahomes is throwing a league leading 14. Touchdown passes, two picks. Chiefs 5 0. This offense, second in the league, averaging 35 points a game. Brady, 12 touchdown passes, but six picks. They are averaging 26.6 points per game. When Brady won his first Super Bowl, Mahomes was six years old. Mahomes, third best in the Super Bowl era, 1,800 yards, 1,797 in his first six games, 14 touchdown passes, ranked fourth. Gronkowski, 23 receptions, second to James White, who's been getting the ball a ton. Sonny Michelle playing very good, 210 yards in the last two weeks. I thought the you know having Sonny Michelle rolling the way he is might be able to slow the Chiefs down a little bit, and we could watch the clock maybe tick away a little bit, but the market doesn't feel that way. Tyree kills a monster, fastest guy in the league. Remember, the Chiefs started out 5-0 and last season as well, but this does feel a little yeah. different. Chiefs are going to most likely be without Houston, going to be without Eric Berry. I have not made a move here. If you look at the chat, they're already all over the Chiefs. But Crypto Boss says Pats by 10. What do you think about this line for the Patriots and this giant total, Donnie? Yeah, it's an interesting one because, you know, Kansas City's coming in hot. They've won on the road in a lot of places. But there's a reason why that line is sitting at three and a half and not three right now for the most part across the board. It just seems like one of those games where they're saying to the public, take the three and a half, take the hook. You know Kansas City can win this, but the hook is going to be really nice. We're not moving it to three. Take that three and a half. You know you like it. The one problem I have with Kansas City here is you get it more extra. You get extra time. Like when you give Nick Saban extra time in college football, this doesn't work out good for the other team. Give Bill Belichick some extra time and with a healthier version of the New England Patriots. Some people still have the Patriots defense in mind when you think about the Jacksonville game or the earlier games of season when they're losing guys like the Detroit game. And you say, man, that team can't really play. That was an injury depleted team that's now getting healthy. And on the opposite side of the football, getting healthy as well with Julian Edelman coming back now. The problem I have with the Kansas City Chiefs, look, I think New England's defense is going to be okay. I think the Kansas City defense is atrocious overall. Now you lose your best pass rusher, and you're going to head into Foxborough, not get a pass rush against these weapons on offense. Josh Gordon's healthy now. Edelman's going to be in. Gronkowski got an extra chance to rest. You'll run three or four running backs at it. Chris Hogan might actually come into the picture now. Another one of those games where I said it at saying, I'm not sure how New England is going to be get pushed off the field on third downs. Maybe the New England punts one or two times in the game. Do I think Kansas City is going to score? Sure. Electric offense, a lot of weapons on turf. They are going to score. But somehow when you circle those wagons in Foxborough, you give them extra time to get ready. And his A1 man, Julian Edelman, is back in the lineup. I think the wing is going to put up into the 40s in this football game, and I'm not so sure that Kansas City is going to be able to surpass them in that. I really like the New England Patriots in this football game. Wow. I'm watching Houston this year. He just looks like a shadow of his former self. Do, is he still their main guy on that front seven? Who are we talking about? Justin Houston? I mean, I mean... I would say, you know, overall M.O. would be he's the main guy. But, I mean, I've watched a lot of Kansas City on tape. Their defense, they don't really do anything well. They don't defend the back end. I mean, last week they caught it, you know, intercepting a screen pass. Okay, you know, Blake Bortles is throwing footballs off people's heads for interceptions in the end zone. I trust, look, if this game was in Arrowhead, I'd be stone cold on the Chiefs. Chiefs going to get them. Here it is. But you give Bill Belichick extra time in Foxborough, they're not punting in this football game. Tom Brady is going to slice and dice up and down this field and embarrass that Kansas City defense. I think they'll be ready, and they're circling this game on the calendar right now to give this young quarterback a loss there in Foxborough. I'd feel more comfortable if I was new, if I was getting maybe five and a half or six with the Chiefs here. Can the Chiefs go into it? It's the NFL. Anybody can go in and win. But you're going to give Bill Belichick extra time, and that offense is going to go right through Kansas City's defense like a hot knife. And if you'd like the Patriots to put up 40, yeah. You have to be liking the over here, Donnie. No, it, it, I mean, what's who's stopping anybody? You know what I mean? Can you pick like the Patriots would be third and four all night? Just say if they do, 
they're not going to get stopped. Edelman's going to be wide open every single time on third down. You're going to be able to look him off. You're going to say, hey, Josh Gordon, you're healthy now. Let's run deep 10 to 15 times a game. They are going to spread this Kansas City defense extremely thin and get after it. And Mahomes, look, they should have lost in Denver as it is already. So I'm not all high and mighty. I like the Chiefs. They were in a great spot last week versus the Jacksonville Jaguars, and they got exactly what they wanted, road Blake Bortles. You ain't getting no road Blake Bortles with Tom Brady in this football game at home. That crowd will be ready. It's going to be an awesome game to watch. I'm looking forward to it. Patriots by a touchdown. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. This is going to be an incredible Sunday night game. I can't wait to watch it. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now not to mention a visit to our industry leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.